All right. Well, like usual, I know. Not posting very many videos. I don't even know if I posted one last few months. I don't know. It's been uh <coughs> Yeah. It's been a bad few months. Lost a lot of family members and close friends and I just haven't really had the ambition to I haven't talked to anybody in real life, let alone <laughs> on here, so I'm just kinda well. But I've done a little bit while I've been out here by myself. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this. It's kind of, the wind's hit it pretty bad, but my plastic barn. This is the watershed. Built this. I don't know. I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not. I don't know. It's been a while. I store the feed in here. There's a couple bags of food. That's the well. The water well. That's, I got cistern wells, so got our water from there. Cardboard for the gardens. I'm using that for paths this summer, spring. And I did this the other day. I'll show you guys this. The geese sure do like it because the next day they're already laying eggs in it. So I knew it was getting that time. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me guess it in a second. Here's the geese. Started out with two, but we got there was six or seven eggs in that one, and then the rest of them are empty so far that I know of. But I don't know. There's, there's what we got: one, two, three, four, five, six different spots they can lay nests. Seven technically, because that's for a nest out there too. So <clears throat> seven, seven spots they can lay eggs in. This is where they used to lay them in this tire. They had a little roof over it, but <clears throat> it kept flooding out. So I want to get them on high ground. That's the highest spot in the whole yard. So or in this area. So. And then we got. I don't know if you guys remember this, but. There's actually a trench, a ditch that's dug up underneath this whole wooden plank thing here. And it comes, it's supposed to be to drain this whole yard. This was a horse pasture, so it was to drain the horse pasture and the horse didn't trip in it. I mean, obviously it's pulled apart now. But we got a, a muskrat living in here now. I see him a couple times now. I've got some pictures of him. But yeah, every now and then I catch glimpses of him. He'd be hiding underneath these boards. And he comes out here and he runs across the road over to the rails trails. Yeah, a little muskrat. I don't know if he's going to cause any problems for us, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, and then this is going to be all garden, tilted up in the fall. And that's going to be all garden there. So, and our strawberry patch, that's going to be all tilled and replanted with a bunch more strawberries. Strawberries up there by the old greenhouse. Putting some raised beds in. And try to do some gardening this year. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I figure I'd show you guys that at least. I got uh yeah, I got a little time to get around. I've been working on some gates and fences, trying to keep the rabbits out of the dang garden. Last year, that was the biggest problem was the rabbits. They demolished a lot of stuff. Yeah, and then our fire pit. It's coming along. We had a ton of tree branches out of this little guy falling on top of the house. So I've been cutting all that off. There's still a few branches up there, but I get down. Got my ladder up there. So we got to pull that branch right there on the house and this one here's got to get cut so get those taken care of <clears throat> i should i'm gonna grab some food while we're going out there i guess you guys come with me while we feed them i'll get water after i'm done might as well feed everything while we're doing it huh
cracked corn. It's in my sweet feed. Push it up a little bit. A lot of it. Uh, looks like that. This isn't my normal feed, it's just what we're feeding them right now. Uh, usually there's a lot more to it. But... Broke completely, so sweet feed and cracked corn is what they get. Oh. I'll go feed these guys quick. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Noisy birds, they are. A few chickens, I'll have to come back and get some more. Oh. Finally becoming spring, guys. Start raking up this mess of a yard and get it all cleaned up again. Maybe we'll actually get some more on our to-do list done this year, huh? Had a critter out here getting all my birds again. So I got a lot of traps set all over. And you guys it's all wet. There's a dry spot. Here's a dry spot. I'm just gonna say I don't know where old red went, but I forgot. Did some splitting up the other day. Yesterday, I put Red in with Tommy. Cause Tommy has his own little prison back there. He's not allowed to run loose no more because he's a little butthead and jumps the fence and tries to go after me and the neighbors. I don't want him cause no problems. So he's got his own pen. I'll show you guys that in a second. Grab some more food here. Ain't the button to do with one hand, huh? There's a lot of you YouTubers, a lot of credit. Getting everything one handed all the time is pain in the butt. But we can do it, huh? Get it done. Oh, you see all these little bean things from this tree up there. Things got like spikes off the side of them and stuff. I don't know what kind of tree it is. Oh shoot, I left my dang straw outside. That was done. It's raining. I'm sure you guys can tell that. And it's a muddy mess. We got mole back over here. Ah. I'm the Mohawk Mohawk twins. He's the only one left now. What should I do with the straw? Hmm. Uh, I guess throw it around in here on the ground. Get rid of some of this mud, huh? There we go. Help you guys walk around a little better, huh? A little better for you. I don't know. Dang rain sucks, huh? Alright. So the ducks, we got Bubbles and her boyfriend, and then two of her babies, and then Big Bertha there. We got Ma. And we got the gas station chicken. She's hiding in there, and you can't really see her, but a big old hen. I rescued from the gas station. I seen her a few days in a row in the mornings when I was going to get gas, headed to work. One day we decided we'd come home from work and she was sitting there. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab this chicken. Guys, didn't think I could do it, but shoot. Shoot. They don't know old Brandon, huh? Ain't no bird who can get away from me. 
Oh yeah, and here's the other thing that's got me all depressed. Oh yeah, here's one of Bubba's other babies. Let's go. Yeah, so here you go. After the winter, all that hard, heavy snow we got destroyed it, dude. The whole pen. All summer we worked on that thing. Metal bars are just, I mean, that bar goes straight, and then it curves up, and then it curves around and down and back. I mean, it. the snow was heavy. All my metal bars was not the right choice, I guess. I don't know. Lesson learned. Don't use metal fencing poles to take any kind of weight. I mean, some of the stuff was like heavy duty piping. You know, it's some big stuff, but that snow bent here like a like a twig for sure. There's stuff all over the place. All my netting's ripped up. Oh yeah, tons of work. The steel, I don't even know where that steel came from. I don't know if it was on the roof of one of the buildings or what. It ripped off somewhere. Might have come from I don't know this building. There's red steel on here. I don't know. We'll take a peek in here and see if she's laying any eggs. These ducks have been breeding, so. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I should make a little nest right there. Those things are all full of saw with the, or wood chips because of the chicken that was in here. I had mowing here the first couple of days. I brought them back. So. All right, I guess. It's probably a boring video of me just walking around talking about the birds and my depression, I guess. So, uh. We'll call her there, 11 minutes. Probably one of my longest videos yet. <laughs> yep. All right, guys, here's uh, some more videos coming hopefully soon. I'll uh, start getting on it. It's starting to get nicer out. It's easier for me to get up here and actually videotape my my stuff. So yeah, if you haven't liked and subscribe, please do. Helps me out, helps channel out. We're up to 70 subscribers. Um, Last time I checked, anyways. So, uh, yeah. The more subscribers we get, um, I mean, shoot, we get up there and, and actually start making some money off from this thing. We could upgrade this whole farm and actually start saving and helping some animals, you know? That's the whole plan in the, in the end. Turn this place into, like, a sanctuary for, for animals to come and live out their lives. I'd like to make some kind of a program with the dog pound and stuff animal control and see if we can't start giving some old time animals a, a last place to stay where they can live out their last few years or weeks or months and be treated good and have a nice little place to stay and pass off to the next place you know that's my dream give all the old old and abused animals somewhere safe that they can finally take a good rest before they pass on that would be my dream i gotta get a lot bigger place than this though some acreage we can start getting horses and all the big animals too a friend of mine she does a lot of helping with horses and saves a lot of horses i would love to do that that would be my dream find find me somebody with lots of money that wants to help the animals out on doesn't know what to do we can team up and really do some good for the world at least for the animals I'm not a big fan of the human population but i love all the animals and i would definitely do anything to save them and help them so if you're out there you got all that money you want to do something you hit me up we'll we'll, we'll come up with a plan <laughs> yeah that's me dreaming but all right guys enough of me rambling have a good one until next time later